Hello everyone, no respawns here. I hope you're having an outstanding day because I know I am. So for those of you who have been, again, like my last video, paying attention to social media and been glued to Bethesda's Twitch screen and also have taken the time to at least check social media at some point, we'll know that we actually have confirmation as to what Bethesda have been teasing prior to uh, about... What would have been about 9.47 Eastern Standard Time or 2.47 GMT. We have confirmation and we're actually getting a new, completely new Fallout game. I'm completely flabbergasted. In my last video I mentioned how I thought it was going to be a remaster of Fallout 3. And for those of you who then paid attention to the comments afterwards and also my Twitter, I then changed my mind and was actually leaning towards more of an online game due to a Kotaku article which I will talk about in a second. So rather than doing uh, just a video where we just talk about, you know, a while the game's being announced, I want to get straight into the rumours and quite now heavy, almost not confirmed, but it seems likely rumours of exactly what we're getting. So basically, I mentioned the Kotaku article, and I'm going to link the original one, and then I'm going to link the updated one that they've just posted right now. The reason being is that Kotaku seemed to have quite a lot of insider information. Uh, these were the guys who actually effectively broke the story about Fallout 4 being set in Boston. And so far, at least, they've not been wrong about anything. I don't think they actually have concrete evidence, but I think they're getting leaks. Um, it's quite nice, by the way, that they did actually kind of refuse to completely break the story on exactly what we were getting, which is quite nice. You know, for example, I can't remember the journalist's name, but one of the main journalists retweeted a Reddit thread where some guy was like, if it's not Fallout 3, I'm going to eat my shoe, and uh, Fallout 3 Remastered, I'm going to eat my shoe, and he was like, this guy better get another shoe. Uh, so it, it's quite cool. They haven't really kind of let it slip, but I think they've got some inside information. So because we don't have anything else to go on, I'm going to effectively kind of trust them at this point at least uh it's the most reliable information we've got now and they were right on the teaser and they were right on the boston leaks back in 2015 so that means online game now another broader piece which is mentioned in the article I'll link below is the fact is that it seems to be a rust style survival game now let me just those of you who have subscribed to my channel for a while, I imagine this video will generate a lot of new viewers. In fact, I'm quite the optimist, right? I, I like to think I'm harsh but fair, but also not overtly cynical. If you remember my, you know, feedback from just the general settlement system uh, being a bit shallow in Fallout 4, and also, you know, my kind of slightly more scathing feedback of the Vault Tech and the Nuka World DLCs, but I still like to see the best in everything, bar Vault Tech DLC, which is just fucking annoying. Anyway, however, that means I'm going to look at this in a, in a more open-minded way. You know, for example, the problem was slightly with these rumor mill or kind of theorizing videos is they can just get a bit negative. I just, I'm just not really that kind of person. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, it's going to be going to be shit. Especially in regards to it being having a multiplayer and online element. The reason being is the second that was mentioned, every single person seemed to think, oh, it's going to be like um, the Elder Scrolls Online, or oh, it's going to be like Destiny, you know, oh, it's going to be like Fortnite. And I think people are completely missing the overwhelmingly likely style of game it's going to be, which is more in the line of how I'm getting my gut feeling from... Diablo. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. And I swear when we talk about online games, we tend to just kind of forget other online games that have existed that have worked really, really well. Uh, one of my friends mentioned it might work a little bit more like The Division. Whereas the idea being that it's basically going to be my, my this is my fe my fe feeling on it from what the information I've received and kind of looked at the snippets I've seen online, is it's going to have a optional multiplayer element to it from my guess. Apparently it's going to have quite a huge building function, um, with a, a building focus rather, and with that in mind I just don't think that'll work on a mass online level. Those of you who've played Rust, who've played Ark, Conan Exiles, the more recent one which is quite good, they work on much smaller level servers which I just don't think will work for the scale of game we're going to get uh, with, Fallout, with um, Fallout 76. With that in mind, I get the my 
gut feeling would be leaning towards more of an instanced single player game that has um doesn't force you down the multiplayer route however heavily encourages it through rewards maybe i mean i wouldn't even go so far as to say maybe something like borderlands i think maybe the division would be where I would roughly place it. Where effectively you have whole areas of the game where you don't actually meet anyone, but then there are elements, raids, possibly even PvP areas, where you can actually go and encounter other people. This is quite heavily kind of backed up in terms of the multiplayer element by the the setting we're getting. So effectively, remember, the, the setting is based around, if you see on the Pip-Boy, uh, as you see in the trailer, it's about 20, 25 years after the first bombs fell. So you're actually the, effectively the first vault dwellers to emerge and actually repopulate and rebuild uh, kind of post-collapse post America. It's, it's gonna be quite cool. I'm quite excited. Uh, that also supports the building element quite a lot as well. Uh, you know, there was uh, there is mention of rebuilding in the trailer as well, which for obviously the focus of my channel being that I love settlement building, I'm really excited by. So yeah, basically it's heavily likely we're getting a Rust style MMO and my gut feeling is they're going to handle the single player element, single player meets multiplayer elements similar to Diablo. So kind of effectively having your single and multiplayer cake and eating it too. Because those of you who, you know, I grew up on Diablo 2, not Diablo 1, and I, I really enjoyed uh, Diablo 3 as well. And those kind of games, they do have an incredibly engaging single player element. There's a sense of grind to them as well. And there's also, however, quite a robust and developed multiplayer element as well. Also, on the fact of it being kind of like a Rust clone. So also, there's going to be a survival element. At least that's what's hinted in the in the Kataka walk. And this is pretty much mostly what I'm going on here and the snippets we've seen. Is that... Basically, if you think about lo much most of those survival open world online games, they all come from an early access. So kind of more... Indie or mid-level studios getting kind of crowdfunded, which means they they tend to be quite buggy. We don't we never really see them completed. I think DayZ potentially is is finally getting a full release, but I don't even think it is. You know, it's, it's kind of that level. So this will be interesting to see a game like that that's actually fully made. We don't have to go through all the playtesting, all the various builds, having it break one minute and be awesome the next. Those of you who, you know, went through the DayZ years know what I'm talking about. So it will be very, very cool. I'm excited. I'm an optimist. I absolutely love the setting. I, I personally don't think it will be just an ESO kind of traditional MMO. Again, there are a couple of comments uh, from the journalist Twitter that they're going to saying that they, they they don't think it's going to be an MMO. They think it's going to be more of a kind of a hybrid. I don't think it will be a Far Cry level co-op game. I don't even think it will be something like well maybe yeah maybe something like Borderlands. Think Borderlands. That's where I'm leaning towards. Kind of Borderlands to the Division Diablo, which means you know I I can't see how anyone complains about the online element in that game. That, that's kind of maybe what I'm drawing upon here. You know, when I was reading Reddit earlier, it was just like online, tch, you know, they thought it was going to be Destiny. They thought it was going to be, um, you know, the Elder Scrolls Online. It's all oh, it's going to be shit because it's going to be thrown down your throat. Think Borderlands. Think, okay, The Division is a bit of a shit game, but the, the, the way it was instigated was quite well, the online element. You know, think... Uh, Diablo, those games. I, I, I swear people just forget there are other types of online games. So I'm really, really excited. I'm hyped. Obviously, there are other ideas as well. Ultimately, we won't know. Apparently, we've got, is it the... So the their Bethesda E3 showcase is going to be on June 10th, 6.30. Is it PT? Uh, Pacific time, I think it's called. Uh, so basically, it's going to be later in the day for us in Europe, but for obviously everyone in America and kind of Canada and South America, it should be a bit more um, reasonably. And sorry if you're you're based in, in Asia and Australia, I can't mentally work out in my head what time of the day it would be for you lot. But basically, I'm really, really excited. I'm hyped by this. As a Fallout YouTuber who bases their channel completely around building, mostly, other than the indie games I like to cover, this is basically just... A complete blessing for someone like me because I'm just going to have so much to talk about, so much to get hyped. 
I've been at the office all day completely ignoring my work to an extent because I haven't been out of focus because I've just been thinking about what's it going to be like. You know, a couple of ideas we've been spinning around on Twitter. One of my friends suggested, and I can't believe I didn't think, because this will be an online game, to an extent, they probably won't have fast travel. If they don't have fast travel, and it's going to be an open world, what are we probably going to get? Vehicles. Oh yes! This will be awesome. Don't forget, they've already got vehicles, or kind of mounts, effectively, in all of the Elder Scrolls games, so it's not exactly a feature they're not used to implementing. Uh, for those of you, uh, how it would potentially work on a kind of post-apocalyptic game, I don't know if those of you remember, it was quite an old, I enjoyed it for a while, uh, a post-apocalyptic game called Fallen Earth. So you actually built your own ATVs, quad bikes, you know, motorcycles, and also eventually up to Doom Buggy, so we could potentially get something like that. You know, there's just so many elements to a game like this that... I guess what I'm trying to say is, is though maybe if you don't like online games, try and think broader. Don't look at, you know, the Elder Scrolls Online. Don't necessarily look at, especially people, some people keep saying it's Fortnite. And I'm like, but it's a narrative game company. You know, they're not just going to make some, you know, Battle Royale game because they, Bethesda, for all their faults in terms of, you know, maybe slightly messing up on the microtransaction side, they very, very clearly do read and pay attention to what their audience are interested in. Rem remember Fallout 4. You know, the Fallout 4 trailer literally ticked every single box. You know, these guys were clearly trawling the forums to think, okay, what kind of features do people want? And is it the, the Van Buren game? You know, a, a Fallout Online game has been talked about for years. Interplay kind of shelved it and then it was brought back. It's been in discussion. So yeah, just maybe... I'm going to be talking about this game. You're going to expect loads of videos on this, especially after June, um, the 10th of June hits, when we actually get some serious confirmation and information. And obviously I'm going to be trawling the internet for theories and then kind of uh, regurgitating them back at you. But anyway, I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. I am going to spend my time probably not doing anything for the rest of the evening and just reading Twitter and trying to get um, m as much information as I can. And yeah, it's good. I'm just, I'm completely overwhelmed. Anyway, you all have a lovely week. I will have a new video out soon, potentially another Fallout video if I get more information. I've got an indie game I'm reviewing on Friday when the embargo drops, so look out for that. But until then, you people enjoy your, love your week. Follow me on Twitter and you take care.